features of the digital control monitor that the operator is actually seeing that's uh, on the dash installed. Maybe you speak to some of the benefits and features of that and what it provides to the operator and what they actually see. Sure. Yeah, it's a great point of feedback. It provides vehicle speed. It gives their water temperatures, their water levels in their uh, ice maker water tank, right. um, as well as the amount of water that they're putting down or the thickness that they'll put down. Mm -hmm. And then the vehicle speed, obviously, it shows that, that all the water output varies with that vehicle speed. So you can watch that happen as you're driving and make sure it's doing what you want it to. Right. The biggest one is selecting that thickness of water that you're putting down right. you know, as paired with level ice. And even when it's not paired with level ice, you know what you're putting down and how much sure. you're going to freeze up. Sure. Uh, is there any way to capture this information uh, outside of the actual physical doing a flood where you can actually uh, draw information from it and put it into Excel spreadsheet for training purposes down the road? Yep. Yeah. For facility tracking, you can export that to a USB. There's mm -hmm. a USB port on the side of the module. Right. Mm -hmm. And that transfers all that flood data out of there onto a USB stick. Perfect. So let's take a look at the actual fast ice system, what it looks like. We've talked about the control monitor, the operator seeing. The system itself is dispersing the water. What's that look like? Maybe share with the audience. Sure. Yeah, from a system standpoint, there's kind of a few main components. Mm -hmm. um, the one that you don't see is the water pump. So okay. that's mounted below the water tank. Mm -hmm. That takes that flood water, puts it through the pump, pressurizes it, and sends it out the back of the machine. Right. Out the back of the machine, that's the spray boom. That's what everyone sees out the back there. Right. So it's two rows of spray nozzles, and that's what atomizes that water and disperses it onto the ice mm -hmm. um, so that it, it allows it to freeze quickly. That's sort of the meat and potatoes of it, is that fast ice, the boom itself, the spray nozzles, that's where the, the magic mm -hmm. happens. There you go. Traditional uh, cloth, uh, synthetic cloth or towel cloth that we offer, um, ice quality, surface ice quality, compared to fast ice. Is there a difference? Yeah, a lot of operators uh, and users notice a difference. Mm -hmm. Sort of with the traditional spreader cloth or uh, towel or rag, whatever you want to call it, right. uh, as that goes over the ice, in those skate grooves, some of those skate grooves will be filled with a little bit of slush. Mm -hmm. That slush will be cool. Um, and that towel is hot. As that towel goes over, it'll pull a tiny little bit of slush out of some of those skate grooves as it goes along. Right. I think we've all skated on it. Sometimes if you get into heavy spots, you'll feel a little bit of those yep. grooves mm -hmm. where they're not quite filled in. Mm -hmm. And that's from that towel dragging across there, it pulls out a little bit of that slush. It right. still puts down fresh water right. and fills it most of the way back up. With fast ice, you don't have that. So you have a perfectly smooth ice surface. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know, there's nothing dragging that slush out of those skate grooves or anything like that. It's putting down all that water. It's filling those skate grooves and then that water sort of self-leveling and it freezes up real quick. There we go. On the actual fast ice system, outside of what the operator sees on the control monitor, maybe you can speak to those. Yeah, one of the most popular features is that board spray. Um, so that sprays that section that gets missed between the conditioner and mm -hmm. the boards, mm -hmm. um, and that freezes up that little patch that tends to get missed. In a traditional flood, your towel wouldn't touch that spot, right. and you wouldn't have any fresh water on there. Sometimes you know you get some build up there, the puck does some funny things when it goes in right next to the boards there. Great. With this, you're able to turn that board spray on and resurface that last little bit of a section. It puts down a fresh patch of water there. Right. So you've got coverage all the way from board to board on the arena. So you're actually fresh talking water. like from the puck board, the yellow puck plate, yep. and the ice. You're actually getting a true 90 degree angle. Would that yep. be fair? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. The way that that spray nozzle is angled, it puts it down so it hits basically right where the edge of that puck board is right. and then back to the edge of the conditioner. There we are. Any other features on the fast ice system that uh, the operator can use? actually and uh, improve the ice quality. Yeah, one of the big ones is the blast feature. If you've got a low spot or something like that that you're going over that you're trying to build up. Like um, creases? Yeah, like creases, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you don't have level ice, you always got to build up the creases. Yeah. So as you're going over the creases, you can hit that blast button and it'll temporarily take that system above 150%, put out the maximum amount of water that that system can on that space. So it wow. does a blast where it just dumps as much water as it can on that section. And then as soon as you let go of that blast, it goes back to whatever your normal set point was. So it doesn't matter how fast I'm driving, it'll put out that max water. Exactly, yep. So you can be going zero miles per hour and hit that blast button and it's just gonna shoot water out the How back. much water is it putting out? Above 20 gallons per minute. That's, uh, wow, that's 20 gallons per minute. Yeah, we're really blasting, blasting. With fast ice compared to traditional, uh, using flood towel with traditional flood pipe, is there anything different? Yeah, with fast ice, uh, you see less fluctuation in your surface temperatures okay. because it freezes up quicker. Okay. And obviously you're controlling the amount of water you put down, so right. there's less fluctuation on your surface temps. Okay. And because it freezes up quicker, it freezes harder, so you've got a harder ice, and you have to do less tempering with fast ice as well throughout your whole pad, just because of the way that that system works and how it puts down the right, puts right. down the water. Won't we'll get too much into the science. Yeah, I don't no, want to no. get too nerdy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah it, it, it makes a really hard fast ice. It's fantastic.